Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys a behind the scenes look at what goes on at USA Wheelchair Rugby Training Camp. So stay tuned. So I just got back from an 11 day training camp in Birmingham, Alabama at the Lakeshore Foundation with USA Wheelchair Rugby. The team has these training camps about once a month during the international season, which runs from roughly April through September. We're training for our upcoming competition in Paraguay, which is the American Zonal Championships, and a qualifier for 2018 Worlds in Sydney, Australia next year. Because we are spread out all through the U.S. as athletes, we can't just have weekly practices like we would on our club teams or, um, you know, like a high school football team would have weekly practices. So we have to gather in a centralized location, usually in Birmingham at the Lakeshore Foundation, but sometimes we'll have training camps in Colorado Springs, the Olympic Training Center, and last year we went to Chula Vista. And at these training camps, we really work on, um, you know, really gelling together as athletes, making sure everyone's on the same page situationally, and just preparing the team, the entire team, for the competitions that we have coming up. I thought it'd be really cool to give you guys at home a look at a behind the scenes what actually goes on at these training camps because I know that I was always curious before I was on the team at what life was like at training camp, uh, you know, what the schedule's like, what we have to do while we're there, how we eat, what we do for fun. And so uh, let's, let's first talk about, um, let's first talk about the schedule and what the schedule's like. Each morning we start breakfast at 6.30 a.m. in the dorms. We usually have a pretty good spread of complex carbs, proteins, you know, everything that an athlete would need to keep them going for an 11 day training camp. After the breakfast, we'll head up to the field house, which is about 50 yards away from the dorm, and we'll have our first session starting at 8 a.m. There's a lot that goes into prepping for wheelchair rugby training. So we have uh, sleeves to protect our arms, we have gloves to protect our hands, we tape everything up, um, multiple straps. So getting ready usually takes, uh, it takes me about half an hour. Some people with more function can do it quicker than that but it's, it's pretty variable between the athletes, but generally you're looking at 15 minutes to half an hour to get ready to play. After we get ready and we're all warmed up, we'll go right into scrimmaging and playing. We'll do a lot of situational things, such as sideline inbounds, last minute goals, uh, what it's like playing with a man in the penalty box, and what all this is meant to do is prepare us for when we're in this situation in a competition when it really matters how we're going to handle ourselves making sure that everyone is on the same page and everyone knows what to do of course also at the same time we're running different lines with different players seeing uh, how each unique set of players plays together and what the strengths of one line are and the weaknesses of that line and really uh, prepare us for competition after that sets over we'll head back down to the dorms for lunch Lunch runs from about 11.30 to 12.30, and we usually have a pretty good break over lunch so that we can get out of our chairs, hopefully lay down, uh, do some active recovery so that we're ready and set uh, for the afternoon session that runs from about 3 to 6. The afternoon session is really similar to the morning session, right? Uh, you're working on the same things, and it's just a one more opportunity to maximize our time while we're at training camp so that we can uh, uh, you know, really get the most out of it. So even though we have a really packed schedule, there's still a little bit of downtime. Uh, and in this downtime, we will play video games, we'll hang out and socialize, um, and in a really long camp like the one we just got back from, we'll even have a couple days off. Our first day off, uh, we went. We all loaded up in the Lakeshore bus and we went to this place called Treetop Adventures, which is an arcade, kind of a family fun center. I think you guys have probably seen it before. It had go-karts, laser tag, putt-putt, and we spent a few hours there. And, and while we were there, you know, we, we did everything. We, we putt-putted a few holes, we won 6,000 tickets as a team, and uh, did the laser tag. The coolest part, though, was we all got go-karts. Everyone who was there paired up and one person in the cart was in charge of gas and brake, and the other person was in charge of steering, obviously, because most of us can't move our legs. Uh, I'm not, it was the first time I've been in a cart since I've been hurt, and I'm not sure that the teenagers running the place really knew what they were in for when we, you know, when we rolled up and we're like, all right, you know, we're hopping in the go-karts. 
So it was a really cool experience. After that, we went to B Dubs, had some wings, watched them, uh, some baseball was on, and you know, just were able to relax and unwind off of campus. It was it was a great thing to be able to take our mind off of the grind of training. So here we are at the Lakeshore Foundation. It's the training center for Team USA Wheelchair Rugby. And I'm sitting here with Chuck Aoki. We're at the end of an 11 day camp. So we've been here for a really long time. Long time. Long time, and, and finally it's our last day. We're winding down, and I finally had time to set this up and talk to you guys. So, um, what I want to know from you, Chuck, yes, is Jeff. what is your favorite part about being here at Lakeshore and at Team USA Rugby Camp? You know, Jeff, that's a great question. Um, I think my favorite part about being at uh, National Team Camp is sort of the brotherhood that we form between uh, all, of us, all of us athletes. You know, we get this chance to spend you know, more time with these guys than we do with our families a lot of the years. You know, and these guys become so, we have become so close to these guys. They're some of my best friends in the world. Um, and you really build this brotherhood through this battling and beating each other up for, like Jeff said, 11 days straight. And then, you know, you're just so excited and ready to go to competition. So I think that's my favorite part. Absolutely. And of course, we all live in different states, right? We, uh, Chuck's from Minnesota. I, of course, live in Texas. So it's, when we're at these camps, it's one time that we're actually able to get together. Uh, and like Chuck said, be hang out with each other and be brothers. Yes, it's very exciting. I, I love this. It's a great, you know, this, this, you can see this facility is beautiful. You know, it's really one of a kind in the entire world. So I, I love coming here. Are you excited about going to Paraguay? I'm extremely excited for Paraguay. You know, I'm just checking the South American countries off my list one by one. And Paraguay is rumored to have some incredible pizza places in addition to uh, Korean food. So I'm very excited to have uh, Korean food in Paraguay. Uh, in addition to Paraguayan food in Paraguay, of course. Of course. You know, of course. That would be kind of... Silly not and silly. stay tuned because Chuck and I are roommates, so we might have something coming at you from Paraguay. Oh, there will be something. Oh, there I will be see, something. I will see to it. So that's a peek into what life's like at USA Wheelchair Rugby Training Camps. We're heading to Paraguay on September 2nd for the American Zonal Championships. I'll be putting out some uh, Twitter notifications and updates while I'm there, and I'll try to even squeak out a video if I can. But you can also uh, head to Facebook and look up USA Wheelchair Rugby, like and follow them for updates throughout the, throughout the whole competition while we're down there. If you guys have any questions about what life's like uh, at USA Wheelchair Rugby Training Camp, what we're doing as a team coming up, or you know just anything, go ahead and leave me a comment below and uh, I'll try to answer those as I come across them. Thanks guys!